Tate. And I'm Danny. This is our story. In 2015, we quit our jobs and embarked on a five-year world adventure. We sailed from New Orleans to Panama, lived in exotic locations, swam with sharks, and ate a ton of fish. But we are just getting started. In 2016, we put our boat Sundowner on the hard and started a new adventure in our Class A RV. Join us as we explore North America. We have no hard plans and no idea where we'll end up. What a way to live. In this episode, we finish our refit and leave Tate's dad's house in Lafayette to head east towards New Orleans to visit the rest of our family and friends. Look at that, guys. 139. Wow, that's in Brobridge, Louisiana. Cheap gas, and you can spend the money you saved at the casino. They cover all the bases here. We have somehow managed to find ourselves in rush hour traffic on the Mississippi River Bridge in Baton Rouge on the Friday before Mardi Gras. You can see Tiger Stadium there in the distance. That's where Tate and I went to school, LSU. Every time we drive through here, I feel a little nostalgic. So what do you miss most about school, Tate? The women. The women? Yeah, everybody knows that LSU Tiger Babes are the hottest. <laughs> you talking about me too, right? Were you an LSU Tiger? Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. We're back home. We take a familiar exit off the bridge and drive right past Tiger Stadium to Tate's sister's house, just in time to catch a small parade. Parades are like a wonderland for kids and adults in each their own way. This could have been us. <laughs> this, this is all y'all needed. This is what we needed. This could have been ours. If the price was right, it could have been ours. Check it out, y'all. We watched some good old American football, the Super Bowl actually, and caught up with Alan and Amanda for a traditional Chinese hot pot meal. Good times. I have these images that my ears are going to be split where he rips them out. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend George had quite the surprise for us. Holy smokes, look at that. She's nothing but a weekend project. What? This is a 68 foot steel boat our friend is building. Damn, George, I definitely think you'll be able to dance in it. <laughs> there is a boat exactly like, or almost like her, mm -hmm. uh, called Melanie's Eye. And she went around uh, the Cape of Good Hope at 19.5 knots. 19.5 knots. Wow. This is the middle of the boat. Look at this room. It's 18 feet wide and 68 feet long. This is the pilot house. There's a deck up there. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> so is that, is that the engine room compartment? Yes. George is standing where the Holy smokes. What kind of engine are you going to have? Cummings. 6 What's that? What, how many horsepower? 210 horsepower. Wow. Amazing. So George, where are you going to go first? After we get her out rigged, I think we'd like to go from here to Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, probably Key West. Yeah. Make a run back from Florida to here, just kind of shake it down. Um, once we get that done, I think Virgin Islands is probably going to be our first destination. Wow. It's incredible. This is us backing out the RV. I have no idea what's going on. Watch the window. Watch the mirror. 
The branches are right up on it. You might as well just come on back. Do the damage already. Well, the branches are on the RV. You're going to have to come over more. Ready to navigate. We're going to attempt to exit the subdivision without knocking anybody's mailboxes over. I have a confession to make. Tate and I are late sleepers. <laughs> we, uh, we've been trying to get to Walmart for the past week, but we can't ever seem to get up and get over there in time to not be in rush hour traffic. We just keep skipping it. And I'm surviving on nuts and fruit. And it, it seems to be okay. It's very, <laughs> it's very strange though. It's just like the boat. Maybe that's why we moved on to a boat, so we wouldn't have to have a schedule. So how many times have we been trying to go to Walmart, Tate? Uh, I don't know, 20 or 30 times. <laughs> yeah, I'm surviving like a bear. Like my kindred spirit up in Yellowstone on walnuts and cranberries. Oh, yes, you've been surviving off all my thick dudes. Oh, well, fig, figs are cookies. I mean, figs are yeah, fruit. Cookies. No, the they're figs cookies. Figs That's are right. You heard it. <laughs> you heard it from the horse's mouth. No, fig, it's fruit. It's all natural. Panchatula, is where I'm from. Born and raised. At my dad's house, Tate had to tie back a tree that was in the way before backing all the way down the winding driveway. My dad was more than a little bit worried. Okay, that was a hell of a backup job you did there. Not really. How, how do you do something like that? Compare it to backing a full keel boat a quarter mile out of the New Orleans Industrial Canal with a shrimp boat on you in a crosswind, in a current, in a tide. That was nothing. Huh. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, you inquiring minds want to know how you got so good at driving a vehicle and backing down a quarter mile driveway through turns and hills and all right, the key, with hills everywhere you could just flip the key right over. to all you viewers out there is to find a really pretty girl <laughs> and put her behind the vehicle <laughs> and make her make motions <laughs> where you can see oh. she tells you where to go and then when you get out you take all the credit oh he doesn't like to kiss on camera come on give me help give me help I grew up on these six acres and every time I come home, I can't help but relish in the beauty of nature here. You got some lamb chops? Yeah, we need, um, we need a fire truck here to put this fire on. Mmm. Oh, yeah, those look tasty. Yeah. <laughs> treated to a farewell meal which had my favorite food on earth raw oysters as well as other Louisiana dishes oh baby fried shrimp mm. we finally made it to New Orleans to visit with our very best friend Michelle on her birthday this of course meant more food always more food happy birthday Michelle ah! we parked the RV in Skipper Glenn's driveway the guy who taught us to sail He's also a very talented artist. As luck would have it, we made it to a race aboard Quest on Lake Pontchartrain. I know, man, they are like, wow. So be surprised if there wasn't like a collision. In fact, there was a collision. As soon as I turned the camera off, a boat got T-boned at the start line. We had to wait around an hour while the Coast Guard came to help. But we eventually started our own race, with three other Easterlies jockeying for first place. I'm just doing a bit of laundry. One of the perks of having friends and family all over the place. We haven't had to use a laundromat yet, which is super nice. We feel really fortunate. Tate and I don't have a lot of, um, we don't have a lot of clothes, and we don't wear a lot of clothes. I mean, a lot of different types of clothes. 
We wear like the same thing and we try not to get it dirty so that we don't have to wash much, which is really um, helpful in the laundry department. A quick run to Costco and we were ready to go. So this morning I figured out the uh, some things about our GPS here. <clears throat> Her name is Broomhilda. <laughs> uh, Broomhilda. Say a command. Find place. Speak the name of a place. Chase Bank. Searching for Chase. Select a line number. Three. Would you like to begin navigation? Yes. What? Please drive to highlighted route. We are so swank. Good job, baby. So we went to the bank and picked up our wedding rings. It's been a while since we've seen them. Tay's no longer a single man. Bachelor without his wedding ring for like a year. It's one of the longest bridges in America. It's 28 miles. My stepdad, Paul's property, had all the hookups. Men, hard at work. It's a shitty job. <laughs> It's so nice here in the countryside. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Annoying little bastards. Soon, Tate developed a vendetta for the small but very loud woodpeckers in the area. He even stalked them on several occasions. They wake me up at like 6 in the morning. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. It's loud, too. At first, I thought they were trying to peck on the RV. They really wore heavily on his mind. Now look up these little asshole woodpeckers. Look at these marshmallows. Yeah, they're huge. This is for size reference. Yeah. Like it's my hand. <laughs> huge. Mmm. Look, he's having a good time. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> Mom. There you go. Is that one of the glasses I gave you? No, I got this from the thrift Oh, you did. Yeah, we just roll it right up next to it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Eagle Scout at work here. World's strongest man. You guys ready? You gonna lift it up? Uh, oh, two points. Jeez. Wow. Holy no smokes. Awesome. Good job. All right, Evan. Damn. There you go, That's man. it. Today, Tate and I are gonna ride our bike to the Abita Brewery uh, in Abita Springs, Louisiana. Gonna get drunk on bikes. I don't know about that. Definitely getting drunk, I am. We headed out on the Tammany Trace, a dedicated bike route that took us straight into Abita Springs. But then I almost ran over something shiny. We found a phone on the Trace. Some unfortunate soul left their phone, or dropped it rather, on the concrete. We were being good Samaritans trying Hello. to find the owner. Hello, guys! Hey! Who does this belong to? That belongs to her. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you so much. Well, uh, experimental Google directions led us wrong and we couldn't find the, the Birita Brewery. Yeah, we went like way out of the way. So we found someone's phone, which was nice, and we got it back to them. And now we're just going to drink some beer at the bar at the Abita Brew Pub. Yeah, this is actually Abita's uh, bar. They own this bar, so it's the next best thing to the... Uh, going to the uh, brewery itself. Second best is good enough. <laughs> We've been drinking Abita beer forever. It's a local brand with lots to choose from. This is my favorite beer that Abita makes. It's called Abbey Ale. I think it tastes like Chimay, personally. <laughs> like, I want to cut my beer with like a knife you and like eat stuff. it with a fork. Oh yeah. It's Abita. Mmm, Abita. Yum. No trip home is complete without a hot and spicy crawfish boil. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's February 23rd, the day we were supposed to leave and head out to Natchez, Mississippi. But uh, we're stuck in this garage, just hanging out because of the weather forecast. Yeah. What's the uh, weatherman telling us, Danny? 
Oh, he's predicting some tornadoes. Tornadoes. Coming around the uh, the bend here. No, yeah, it's it's like 20 to 30 knots are coming. There's some huge front on the way. Yeah, just like a sailboat. Uh, the weather sort of dictates where we go. Big old honking RV doesn't drive very well in 30 knots of wind. Yep. So we're just making the best of it. Although contrary to an RV, Sundowner would really like 30 knots of wind. Yeah. She'd be a dog with bone in her mouth. <laughs> This is the fire of progress. See all that smoke? That's all of our trash we have accumulated for the week that we've spent here at my stepdad's property in Mandeville. We've been here a week visiting my family and uh, on the North Shore. But we're leaving tomorrow. Can I come in? Yeah. What is my fearless husband up to? Filling up the holding tank and putting some bleach in it to clean it out before we flush it. Because <clears throat> the sensor keeps saying it's full, but it's not, right? It, this isn't going to fix that, probably. But it's just going to sanitize the tank a little bit. But I tell you, people have problems with composting heads, but this is disgusting. Yuck. The first place that we are going to visit once we finish visiting with all of our family is the Natchez Trace. As luck would have it, my stepmom Kate had a book on it. And the Natchez Trace starts in Natchez, Mississippi and it runs all the way up to Nashville. It's pretty long, it's over 500 miles long I think. It used to be used before steamboats for people to travel from the north to the south for trading and the Indians used to use it. I mean, it's really old, like, you know, thousands of years old. And so it has a lot of history. Even Andrew Jackson and his troops after their victory um, for the Battle of New Orleans traveled up this trace. So I'm really excited to see it. And apparently there's three free campsites along the way with no hookups or anything, but we don't, we don't really need that, so let me show you a map. Um, it's pretty long, I mean, look at this thing. Woo! If you liked this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and the subscribe button below. If you didn't, please leave us a comment and let us know what we can do better. Thank you so much for watching.